Now, what's the direction or future for digital chocolate? Um, you know, is this sort of the IPO? Would you like to continue uh, to be a standalone company, or is it really competitive out there and there are a number of potential acquirers, and are you entertaining any of those? Um, you know, I, uh, I think, I think the, the, the most important thing when, when I first started the company is build a solid uh, operating company with a solid strategy, because then you've got all the possible doors that are open for, for the future. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, you know, we have uh, professional investors, so you know, between the fact that they would like to at some point have liquidity and all of my employees have uh, options in the company, and you know they, you'd, you'd like to give them liquidity as well. You know, so obviously we'd like to drive the business towards some kind of liquidity event. But you know, obviously the uh, first choice for us would be to be a strong, independent public company if we have what it takes to achieve that. Uh, we're almost there. I don't think we're quite there yet. Uh, and I've been I've been part of companies that have gone public too soon. I've been part of companies that went public uh, early and pulled it off. And I've been at companies where it took us a long time to go public, but we're still successful. So you have to figure out what the when is the right time uh, to become a public company. It does put you in a different category and it does create uh, different needs and you, you kind of have to be uh, ready for that. At the same time, uh, there is a very active uh, M&A climate. There's been a lot of consolidation in the industry. You know, we've, we ourselves have made uh, three acquisitions and we're working on more. And uh, there, there is potential to make uh, even bigger and stronger companies by combining uh, some of the companies in the industry. What are you looking to acquire and, and how much are you spending? Well, one of, one of the things that we did in uh, very early days is we realized that this, is, this had to be a global business. And therefore, to enter a major region, it helps if you make an acquisition in that region. Mm. So we started out by making an acquisition in Europe. And then uh, one of the things we did this year is we uh, made an acquisition in India and that has allowed us to uh, dramatically expand our production capacity as well as having a foothold in a major uh, Indian uh, region, do you have to uh, raise Asian more, region. Do you have to raise more funds to, to continue that, you have to continue acquiring companies? Or how well, are you we, doing with your funds? You I, raised 45 million. I would say million. In, uh, in general, we've been very efficient about how we've uh, spent money yeah. on the operating business and we've gotten the profitability. And having a strong balance sheet and having uh, a war chest with more cash in it and mm -hmm. having prospects for liquidity and having uh, both a management team and investors that have kind of a legacy, uh, you know, being able to create value and achieve liquidity, that makes it easier for us to make strategic moves. Okay. And then the other thing, of course, we think about is that we compete with really big media companies. You know, Who would uh, they be? I mean, some of our stronger competitors on that side would be companies like uh, Disney and Vivendi and you know, from time to time, you know, different uh, big media companies, uh, which you know, could be and Yahoo Viacom or Warner. Into. You know, there's, there's many different guys that uh, have either been in uh, yeah. and have backed off or are thinking about getting in. And what we want to do is we want to get ourselves in a position to be a good partner with companies like that and demonstrate mm -hmm. to them that we, we can add a lot of value, uh, whether it's an arm's length relationship or a strategic relationship.